Hi, I'm Nancy from Grace in Paris, and I want to show you one of my favorite hidden gems, the Moulin Rouge. Imagine Paris 130 years ago, in the middle of the Belle Epoque era. Women wore high neck dresses, long sleeves, and skirts to their ankles. It was scandalous to show any skin that wasn't your face or your hands at the time. People attended formal dinner parties with black tie, jewels, and everything was very posh and up and up. So they needed some place to go and unwind. So enter cabarets, where they could go and listen to a comedian or hear some fun dance music, especially dances like the Can Can. The Moulin Rouge in Paris is located in a district called Montmartre. When you walk up the main street in Montmartre, you come across this giant red windmill with lots of lights and people stopping and taking pictures. It's almost like here in America, Groman's Chinese Theater, where people are standing outside, getting selfies and taking pictures of this famous building behind them. And what is it? It's the Moulin Rouge. 130 years ago, this cafe called the Moulin Rouge was started as a place for people to go and let go. You can watch a show, see a comedian, enjoy some entertainment, and each show was always ended with the famous can-can, where the dancers would come out and lift their skirts. And of course, in the Belle Epoque era, because it was so scandalous for a woman to show her ankles, this can-can was such a, a naughty dance for people to go and watch and enjoy that, of course, everyone wanted to go see it. In the show, 60 dancers dance and sing and entertain the audience twice a night, seven days a week. There are sequins, feathers, and spangles galore. It's an amazing sight to see. The Moulin Rouge has been open for the past 130 years through two world wars, and today it's become a popular place to go for tourists to see a little bit of the history of France. There are many movies about the home of the Can-Can. Shirley MacLaine's movie Can-Can from the 1960s is all about the famous dance and how scandalous it was. In the middle of the movie, she does a fantastic dance that shows how athletic these women have to be to make these dances so fabulous and fun. Fast forward to 2001 and we have Baz Luhrmann who created a movie called Moulin Rouge, starring Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor. It's a jukebox musical where most of the songs from the movie are pop music. So imagine sitting in that theater, listening to these songs, these catchy tunes that you've known and loved for years, put into the setting of the Moulin Rouge. I highly recommend watching it. In 2019, the Broadway show Moulin Rouge the Musical opened up. People flocked to the theater to see their favorite movie live and in person with all the songs. Some have been updated a little, but still they'll, they'll make your heart sing when you watch it. It's the same story, Hooker with a Heart of Gold, and even though we wish the ending could be different, it's the classic ending. But I won't spoil it here. If you're curious about how the story ends, go ahead and rent the movie or go see the Broadway musical. It's a classic. Being in Paris with my customers, I love to bring them to new places. One of the hidden gems that I took them to last year was a place called Cafe Michu, right down the street from the Moulin Rouge. It was a small, intimate cafe with maybe 40 seats. People in the room were locals and they laughed and sang and enjoyed each other's company with wine and food. And when the show started, it was a tiny little theater with a small stage and many actors in drag. The actors portrayed famous singers such as Barbra Streisand or Frank Sinatra 
or many classic French singers that even though we didn't quite know who they were, we really enjoyed the atmosphere in the room and did a lot of research afterwards to find out who those fantastic singers were. I hope you enjoyed exploring this hidden gem with me. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to our channel or follow me on social media. I'll be sharing more of my favorite places and spaces in the future. So grab a glass of champagne, French of course, and follow me, Grace in Paris. Hidden Gems with Grace. Thank you.